In this video, we'll take a look at sections in Orca 3D. Sections refer to planar cuts through one or more surfaces, such as stations, buttocks, water lines, diagonals, inclines, and cant frames. They're similar to Rhino's contours, except that they are associated with the surfaces. If the surfaces are modified using the Orca control points, the section curves will update in real time. If the surface is deleted, the ORCA sections associated will be deleted as well. Note that if you wish to make a copy of an ORCA section that is not associated with the surface, you should use the copy command in Rhino's edit menu or control C rather than the copy command in the transform menu or the command line. Okay, let's go ahead and create some sections. For this example, I've got a model that was created using the Sailboat Assistant with the defaults, and you can see I've got three surfaces, the hull surface and a simple deck and transom. So the first step is to select the surfaces through which I want to see sections, and then go to the Define Sections icon or select Define Sections in the Orca menu. In the Add Sections dialog, you're essentially defining the locations for the planar cuts that become the sections. So the first thing to do is to select the section type. It can be stations, buttocks, water lines, diagonals, inclines, or cants. We'll begin with stations. And the next thing to do is to specify their locations. So I have a number of options for how to define the locations. First of all, I can simply type in a list of section locations and click Add. And we see over here on the right, the list of those sections. I'll remove those for now. The next option is to define the spacing. So I could say I'd like to have sections or stations in this case every one meter starting at zero and going to 10 and click add. I can also check this box that says to automatically update the bounding box. So this is the minimum and maximum values of your model in the appropriate dimension. So in the case of a station, it's in the length dimension. And in my example, that's the X axis. So I can also say I'd like to specify the number. So let's ask for 11 stations starting at zero, ending at 10.15. When I click on add, you'll see I have 11 evenly spaced sections. And finally, I can do a combination of those where I have a one meter spacing and I'd like 11 sections. And in this case, you just specify the starting value. So we can see the sections here. Then I can do the same thing for buttocks. So in this case, I'll just say I'd like to have five evenly spaced buttocks and notice that the starting and ending box uh, values have updated automatically because I've checked the update bounding box. If, for example, I also wanted to have a buttock at 0 0.5, I could now type that in the list box and say add and you see that section appear. And finally, we'll do the same for water lines. Now in this tree control, I can right click on any individual section and select remove it, preview it, which will show a frame at its location, or I can remove it. So let's select that 0.5 buttock that I created and remove that. I can also do that for all of the stations at one time. So let's set the color of the stations and we'll set the color of the buttocks and finally of the water lines. The next selection is to determine which layer these sections will be created on. By default, they go on a layer by the section type and these are the default layer names, but you can change these to any names that you like. Alternatively, you can have each section go on its own layer, in which case what you're specifying over here is a prefix, and the rest of the layer name comes from the numerical value of its location. And if I check this box, any empty 
section layers that Orca may have created during your work session will be deleted when I create the sections. So we'll go back to layer by section type and click OK. And here we can see the resulting sections. We can control the visibility of the sections either by turning the Orca 3D sections layer on and off or by using the sections visibility icon. So if I right click here that will turn off the visibility of the sections. If I left click it will turn them back on. Note that in either case when the surface is modified the sections will still be updated in the background. So let's turn on the whole surface and turn on the Orca control points and select a point. So you'll see now as I move this control point that all of the sections are updating in real time as I drag that point. Now remember that these sections are associated with the surface and they're controlled by Orca. So even if I were to select a curve and move it, uh, as soon as the hull is updated, that section will be updated as well. So when I put this back down, that stray section will disappear. Now if I want to delete or modify or add sections, I simply select all of the surfaces and go back into the sections dialog. So, but what happens if I select just one of the surfaces? So I'll go back into the dialog and for example let's remove all of the stations and click OK. So you see on the hull I only have water lines and buttocks. If I look at the other surfaces you see that there are no sections defined any longer because I hadn't selected them before I went back into the sections dialog. If I wanted to see the buttocks and water lines on those other surfaces I could just select all of the surfaces and come back into the sections dialog and click OK and now those section definitions will be applied to all of the surfaces. Okay let's redefine our stations. Again the section type is stations, the number is 11 and I'll say update the bounding box and click add and we'll set the color to blue. Okay. Now remember if I want to use these sections for some other purpose in the drawing and not have them update or disappear when I modify the hull, I should select the curve and use the copy command in the edit menu or use control C and then paste it or control V. If you use the copy command in the command line or in the transform menu uh, it'll just create a copy that will disappear when the hull is modified. All right, now that I've got these curves, I can use them in the Orca lines plan. And you see under curves to draw, the first selection is the Orca 3D sections. So that's referring to these curves. The same thing is true in the offset table where I can select all curves, work a 3D curves only, and that's referring to these sections, or I can select the curves to include. Remember that you can add to your section definitions at any time if you'd like to see more sections. So if we wanted to have more sections in the ends of the hull here, I could manually type in uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.9, 0 0.7, and add those values. Uh, you can also use any of these other methods to add more sections, stations, buttocks, and water lines. So you can see we now have additional curves in the ends of the boat. So that's an overview of the sections dialog. There's a lot more information in the documentation which you're encouraged to read through. And as always, if you have questions, contact us at support at orca3d.com.